so we are discussing the scope of piping engineers we have already discussed uh, about the role and uh, scope of layout engineers material engineers in previous sections then stress engineers field construction engineers in this section we are going to cover the piping project engineer okay in between we talked about uh, the role of uh, oil and gas sector piping engineering in process industry you can go to any of the links view points so you, this will be explained uh, in a video format so so let us directly go to the uh, the agenda of uh, this video that is piping project engineers okay so let us talk about what they do and what is the role what is expected from them piping project engineering is a techno commercial role okay this is very important uh, role in process industry this we call it techno commercial role why we call it techno commercial we'll try to understand in next parts the engineer performing this role should know the technical as well as commercial background of the process plant right why technical and commercial although they may not be strong at technical aspects but must be good at communication company commercial side right we are talking about techno and commercial role only they have to be techno commercial fit right they are not technical expert experts but commercial side they have to be very good for negotiating various contracts and st stakeholders right so this statement itself uh, clearly indicates what project engineers are doing especially piping project engineers there are so many companies where there is a special role for piping project engineers there are project engineers they are separate team but piping project engineer is part of project engineering and they perform uh, techno commercial roles so now let us see what is expected uh, from such jobs what is what what is expectation of uh, such jobs from these engineers these engineers should be excellent uh, in communication and negotiation skills they have to deal with the technical team they have to deal with vendors they have to deal with senior stakeholders they we have to deal with the uh, contractors so communication and negotiation skills should be there in depth knowledge of cost estimation right they when they talk about uh, any piping item or any other item with the vendors or any other stakeholder they need to understand what kind of costs are involved for that particular thing then only they they can uh, uh, communicate or they can negotiate broad idea of overall process plant okay so if they have uh, already executed a few projects then they will be having a good idea what kind of process plants are there how various items are associated within the process plant right then only they can discuss with various stakeholders determine potential failure cases okay they need to understand what kind of scenarios are there how the system can fail how the system can be stable so those kind of uh, uh, analytical uh, aspects should be there right this is what ex is expected from project engineers by pipe, specially piping project engineers then what they do what is their role as a project piping piping project engineer they plan and monitor the engineering activities right they control cost and schedule so once they are looking into all the engineering activities with respect to cost and schedule then they en then only they can control right so they have to plan and monitor both uh, Uh, this thing so vendor negotiation when we are talking about uh, the cost they have to negotiate with a lot of vendors they have to be involved in a lot of evaluation processes they have to be uh, involved in uh, various negotiation various discussions uh, interaction and coordination with various disciplines so various discipline in the sense even if we are talking about piping project engineers they have to interact with the civil they have to interact with electrical instrumentation a lot of discipline right so that they can coordinate uh, internally right with technical team and they can negotiate with the vendors so a lot of coordination will be there with all kind of stakeholders so they will be having uh, overall responsibility for overall completion of the piping project activities right so most of the time this is kind of communication uh, and coordination job 
let us look at few important points in various small scale projects all the above tasks all jobs of design engineer material engineer stress and are done by simple piping engineer okay what we are trying to say here we talked about uh, piping layout design engineer we talked about um, material engineer stress analysis project engineer now if this project is small right there will not be a requirement of specific uh, engineers so this job can be done by a single person which we call piping engineer the experts in each of the above roles are making wonderful income this is again we we are uh, talking about these roles so the we can always say these roles will attract a lot of uh, uh, good income uh, good ctc will be there for all piping layout material stress and uh, this uh, site uh, activities construction engineers project engineers all these could be achieved by gradually improving your subject knowledge so we we never expect any of these to be expert right from the beginning once we start executing the project when we go into the activities once we burn our hands by making a lot of mistakes then only we learn a lot of things so this will gradually improve your subject knowledge then let us see how the mechanical engineer what kind of mechanical engineers you think are suitable for piping project engineers role okay as we know a lot of communication will be there so good at communication right and who are not that much interesting uh, in the, don't have that much interest in technical uh, work so those kind of engineers are mechanical engineers are suitable for this role good in communication but not interested in technical we are not saying they should not be expert in technical if they are expert in technical also and good in communication and they are piping engineers piping project engineers then it will be extremely good uh, opportunity for mechanical engineers so this was all about uh, piping project engineers role in next part we'll talk about uh, okay in this part we can say how you can become part uh, expert in piping project engineering right there is a course on epcland.com uh, which is covering all aspects of uh, layout material stress right so if you go through that you will be having a lot of technical knowledge about all aspects so once you enroll there will be a lot of benefits for example this is there will be flexibility of time and location right you can access these lectures the recorded lectures 200 plus lectures are there for this complete course and you will be uh, getting access to these course for lifetime right same lecture you can watch as many times as you want these are based on technical uh, practical experience so this is the job oriented content based on practical scenarios so once you go through all these uh, uh, four sections mentioned in complete course of piping engineering 200 plus lectures are there 40 plus hours of content is there then you can be uh, very good in uh, piping project engineering so this was all about this section in next part uh, we'll talk about uh, piping engineering as a career